Right here, just some standard base facts, guys. So as you guys see right here, I used high external stone gates. Don't have to at all, completely up to you, completely optional. And right then the center is our tool cupboard. Three doors, three layers to that center tool cupboard. Symmetrical on the opposite side as you see right here. So a little drop box area and you can have access to that actual large gate outside and close from the inside which is quite nifty in my opinion. Access to all four boxes right there. Only two can be used but it's completely up to you. Right here on this opposite side, this is where our jump patch is going to be towards our next floors. Just some drop boxes here if required, completely up to you. Upper jump hatch, get into the center, and we greet it right here with a little surprise right, right there. The shotgun turrets, those things are freaking amazing. If you guys haven't seen the videos and shit, they're awesome. Right here into the center area, six furnaces. I think it should be enough for a base of two or even a solo player. Right here, our main loot room basically, five boxes in total. I think it's the most secured area in my opinion, I think. And right there, just the same. And right here are just some standard places where you can store some loot. Not the valuable stuff, but like nice loot, I think. The whole base is symmetrical, as you can see. We have a, re a research bench, a repair bench, and everything needed to actually survive the wipe. Right up to the next level, use with the ladder hatch. We go to this area, which is more of a defensive area and a trap, basically. So if they blow through through the top, they're gonna get greeted by those things. Make sure the doors are open when you log off. Uh, right here, armor doors on the top, just to create an extra two layer, basically. Shotgun traps on the top to prevent people from tying up to your base. And this is quite standard shooting ports in my opinion, but it's nice and effective. You can headshot glitch quite easily. And right here is our balcony area, pretty much, where you can walk on and get all around the base. Catwalk 360 degrees. And I made use of the roofs and these stone breakers on the top to give you some nice protection from the top right there. And you can get, get a nice vertical angle on someone. You guys see some planters completely up to you completely optional i made use of the roofs to actually try and hide that stepped foundation in the base two turrets on the top completely up to you if you want to use it but onto the baseball guys and i hope you guys enjoy this one cheers sweet guys so onto the base build all you want to go and start off with is basically a one by two um, what, I, what I mean by that is you put a one square in the middle and then you put two triangles and that you can use as your starter base. If you see right here, just use of the elevated foundations on that board right there. You do it on both sides and you just remove those ones and place the twig ones. And you just want to upgrade the entirety of the foundation plan. This is what it should look like from the top. Quite simple floor plan, but nice and effective in my opinion. And with those high external gates on the sides, it shouldn't make it a bit stronger. Adding your doorways in the desired way and whatever direction you want them to face. Just adding some layers onto the base pretty much, creating those jump patches and loot rooms, drop box areas. I normally use uh, these doorways and um, it's easier to move around inside the base but it's completely up to you if you want to use them or not so you can just use normal doorways upgrade that to sheet so that people can't pick if they blow through there make sure the walls are turned the right way around and right here as you see the same on the opposite side completely symmetrical I'm just putting it out there that stability and bases like these are very important so just make sure that that you fill in all the spaces where walls can be placed and um, because it is quite important in my opinion easy way to get onto the top if you use a different starter base this is what i would do in the process of building it but like i said you can have a starter base from this base design just adding in the roofs to make it vertically stronger Sheet floors help to not get picked as easily as stone ones. 
placing the hatch frames right there so in case people try to place ladders that actually prevents them from placing ladders um, that I've seen so that works as you see just placing some more layers vertically down to the base if they decide to react on the top so actually storing loot on the bottom is an option pushing the layers closing everything off putting your final hatch frame is where your hatch is going to be for the jump area adding in the last of your honeycomb and closing off the top and sheet flooring just remember guys I am in no clip but it is completely possible to place all these things at the bottom just remember to follow the right process Sure that everything's closed off and you've sealed everything so you can move on to finally building the base as you see it's very strong vertically in my opinion um, it's at least five layers from the top to rate it to actually get to this area where the loot would be shooting that up so people can't actually pick it they can but it's just going to take a lot of time and it's kind of time it's time consuming and people won't actually do that so that's why i decided to make a sheet these loot rooms right here can be made sheet as well um, it's completely up to you add doorways in the designated area as you see right here as indicated to improve the stability of the entirety of the base Close it off where your loot rooms are going to be. Add your hatch frame and close those pieces off. Just a concept on how you can actually make this half circle into a loot room. Quite standard, uh, many people use this. I use it especially in, my, in all my bases that I build on vanilla servers. But it's very effective and very friendly to space. actually get the most effective storage out of this entire area and you can add some small boxes in there if you want to as well adding your furnaces I'm just pointing it out that to obtain all the sheet metal I would probably incorporate a large furnace base outside my base um, there are a few bases out there which have already been designed um, i.e. man I made and one tucker Tuesday made just recently you guys can check out on how to build a cheap and effective large furnace base adding your loot rooms uh, just know that I used no clip to do this um, but you can place it using the normal way or just get to the top and place it like I just did just repeating the process on the opposite side of the tops this spot right here is completely up to you it's not necessary but I found that it's a nice way to actually utilize the space um, but you don't have to do it like I said it's just a nice way to add in a research bench and a repair table but I think it's quite necessary to have those on a vanilla server You can store some broken guns and shit inside there or the scrap or whatever you want to um, in those areas right there. I wouldn't store valuable loot there.
Now these low walls are actually to just place there so people don't actually notice that there are doorways. But if you're gonna have double doors um, right there, they're obviously gonna know. But if you don't have double doors, you have single doors there, they won't actually notice it as straight off the bat as they would. Now what I'm just doing now, I'm just adding another layer of honeycomb to the top floor. Basically, this is where our trap is gonna be. Um, I think in new base designs that traps are the new way to go basically um, when people are ready from the top they need to be surprised and with the use of the new shotgun traps and the turret which are quite strong I think it's pretty effective in my opinion what do you guys think but I think it's quite cool and quite strong might be a bit overpowered at the moment but I'm sure they'll balance it out in the next updates to come but at the moment it's flipping strong and I would recommend it to be used in every base. Just placing the traps. Placing your turrets, if you actually have the cameras and the laptops to spare, that's where I would place them. Down to the top floor, just closing off so everything is blocked off and closed. Right, you're just adding the roof. However, you're not going to be in no clip on a vanilla server, so just ensure that you are able to place them. You are, but it's just a bit tricky. But for the purpose of video, I use no clip. That's what the base should look like. And now I'm just adding the catwalk area. I remember people asked me on how I built some of my catwalk areas. Um, just remember that you need to place those floors that I showed you on how to basically double stack the floor from the top. You need, you need to place them all the way through where possible so you can actually place these catwalk areas around the base. Just the stairs I put there, completely up to you if you want to use them or not. So I find it's nice to have them there as like a way of walking onto it and clearing some more angle of your base, some higher angle and you can get like a nice glitch effect showing people vertically downwards that you saw in the base tour. Right, so just incorporating low walls, you can use stone barricades or just the sandbag. Completely up to you. Just showing you how I placed those stone barricades on the top of the stairs at an angle so you can actually duck underneath them and shoot people vertically who might be camping the walls. pretty much the base guys um quite easy to see and to shoot through i really hope you guys enjoy this one and please let me know what you guys think please subscribe to this channel if you haven't already and smash that like button thanks for watching guru signing out cheers